Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to fix a problem we all had. What to do with the super ripe bananas. Don't throw them away. You can actually recycle them and make the most amazing banana bread. The riper the banana, the better the banana bread. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother. bananas are mostly starch. As it gets riper, the starch become natural sugar and then they start fermenting. So I have three super ripe bananas. They look awful, but they're mostly natural sugar that will allow the banana bread to be sweet without refined sugar. How about that? So because this one is kind of a in a fermenting state, I have a backup banana, also ripe, maybe not as much as these ones, but it's gonna work. Yeah, we'll have my three full bananas. For this recipe, you are going to need a big bowl, a rectangular oven dish, three super ripe bananas, some coconut oil. I have my vegan butter because I don't have any more coconut oil right now, but this is going to work just fine. The magic about baking is that you know the formula and you know how to replace certain things that are missing. A quarter of a cup of coconut milk or any plant-based milk you want, some vanilla extract, two large eggs or eggs replacement for the vegan, a cup of super nice and chewy dates. This is for the wet ingredients. Now the dry ingredients. We are going to need one half of a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate, a quarter of a teaspoon of good quality salt. I picked Himalayan salt. Two full cups of gluten-free flour. And I'm going to reveal to you my secret with gluten-free flour. <laughs> going to be a blooper. So the secret is basically dividing the flour between dry flour and wet flour. A little bit more than a cup of dry flour with a little bit less than a cup of wet flour. Those are my words because I realized that when baking there are some gluten-free flours that absorb liquid and there are some gluten-free flour that harden the cake. Here we have corn, rice, and amaranth. Those are dry flours. I have coconut flour, almond flour. Those two are going to give the cake this squishy texture. And to make this banana cake absolutely delicious, we are going to need one quarter of a cup of dark chocolate chips. I always try to pick dark chocolate chips because milk chocolate chips have more dairy products and sugars and dark chocolate chips have more cocoa. If you don't like chocolate, you can always swap this for chopped nuts or raisins or anything you want. So I have my rectangular oven dish ready. I spread it a little bit of vegan butter in it and we are going to start the oven. Preheat your oven at 180 degrees to 200 degrees, depends on the numbers on your oven. I have like one, two, three, four, five. I put it on one. Go. Beautiful. So now for the recipe. My technique is very simple. I put the dry together and mix and I put the wet together and mix. There are some more advanced and fancier ways to cook these banana cakes, like 38 whites until you have soft peaks. But I'm going to show you the easiest, fastest way so you don't get too overwhelmed if you don't bake that often. Let's go with the dry ingredients. I have my cup. So here I will put half of rice flour, half amaranth. Then I'm gonna go with corn, a little bit of rice. Now I'm gonna go with the wet flowers, about a tablespoon of coconut flour, and the rest will be almond flour. We have it. Then we are going to add this quarter of teaspoon of salt and half of a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate because this is going to help the banana bread to get bigger. Now let's stir. Stir everything until you have the same color. Now we have our dry part. For the wet part, let's start with our milk. Quarter of a cup of plant-based milk. I have coconut here. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's gonna give this a resistible flavor. Two large eggs. I always break them apart because if one egg doesn't look good, I will throw it away and it won't spoil the mix. Woo! 
Also, if you have a little piece of shell in it, you are able to take it off and you won't eat eggshells. Actually, eggshells are calcium. <laughs> Then we are going to add our dates. I don't have a full cup of dates because these are my last ones. So I will add a little bit of agave syrup. Dates are going to be the sweet part, but not only the dates. The banana is going to give texture and sweetness. Woo, this is perfect. This banana is so squishy, it's gonna be perfect to give the banana cake the perfect texture. I'm gonna also put this one because there are small bananas and very, very ripe. Then we are going to add five tablespoons of coconut oil or vegan butter. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this you crazy mother. Ooh, it's kind of packed in here. You put it in the blender because it's super easy and super quick to have all the ingredients perfectly mixed together. So now we have our wet part. Usually, if you're kind of a baking master, you will have another bowl and pour your dry part and your wet part so you avoid little crumbles of flour. But I'm going to do it the very easy and fast way. I add a little bit of rice flour because I added some agave syrup. So agave syrup being a liquid, I added a little bit of flour to kind of balance everything. But after mixing, you will have this texture. Mm. The last step is to add the chocolate chips and mix thoroughly. Now pour the mix in your oven dish and you will get this wonderful result. Look at this. So spread the top of the cake with a spoon so it looks attractive and pop this baby in the oven. You are going to leave it for 50 minutes. Check with a knife. You are going to put your knife through the cake. If it comes dry, your cake is done. You can take it off the oven and let it cool on a rack. And now enjoy this wonderful, royal, amazing banana bread. I hope you liked this video and you will be inspired to recycle your super ripe bananas into this delicious, wonderful, scrumptious, squishy, chewy, chocolatey, banani banana bread. Don't forget to put a thumbs up, subscribe and comment if you like banana bread, if you ever make banana bread and if you have any questions. The full recipe is in the description box below. Of course, tag me on Instagram if you ever bake a banana bread. I'll be thrilled to see your results. I see you in the next video. Bye. Recycle your super ripe banana. Don't move around. <laughs> it's going to be a blooper. Ah! Scissors! Scissors! Oh, I did it.